my name's my name's Suzanne Day or Anne Wigglebottom is my pen name and I run a charity and a business for stopping domestic violence and I like to get my message out in a creative way um, so I write poetry children's books and um, positive affirmations and I knit blankets and today I'm gonna read the story of harp um, tries to stop the food crops growing around the world. Okay, so Harp the magician was an evil, cruel man. He continued to, to use his weather machine to cause floods, bushfires, storms and earthquakes around the world. Not only were people losing their ho homes and becoming homeless as a result of this horrible behaviour, all the crops around the world were failing so there was very little food for the people to eat on earth. The whole earth was affected in this way with every country which was very sad. The farmers of the world spoke out about this situation. They said to the people if there are not farmers and crops there will be no food for everyone to eat and you will die, all die from starvation. Many people around the world all spoke out about Harp and his evil machine. They formed rallies, spoke to members of parliament in their local areas, sent letters and petitions to government officials. They made phone calls and spoke out in any way that they could, using social media, delivered leaflets, made, made signs to stick on buildings and cars. They made billboards. Um, with as much information as they could to get this out to everyone in the world about the truth of what was happening. The farmers asked the people of the world to all come together to support farmers who were in your area. And this way, the farmers can all work together with the people living near them and they will all do better. There were town meetings in towns all across the world with people and farmers getting together to support each other and work on a plan. It was talked about Harp and his evil machine, also about the other controllers around the world who were trying every way they could to control everyone. You see, those who control the food and con control the people It was a very evil plan. And what these controllers wanted was to stop all food growing so that they controlled the food, which was why they were pushing farmers off their land, opening up their own farms and food factories that they, the controllers, controlled. The problem was that in, in their food factories, they were putting drugs and insects into the food, which would kill and injure people of the world. Their goal was for all the people of the world to eat insects and drink sewage. Um, and this this is because they they actually said that the people of the world were all useless eaters and they wanted to get rid of us. And one farmer got up and he said, there is more of us than them, so really we have the power to stop all of this control and evil behavior from happening to us. And we, the people of the world, all need to stand up together as one group of people. And we can all buy from the farmers at markets and stalls. And in this way, we will not need to go to the big supermarkets who make life hard for farmers. And they control the prices and the conditions that the farmers have. Another problem was the government in each country. They were making it harder and harder to be a farmer with paperwork and fines and conditions. They are forced to accept just to do their job of being a farmer. They were pushing the climate change agenda, which is a huge big lie. And if we do what these governments do, we will not be able to grow any food at all. You see, the power is always with the people in the world not the governments or the controllers or the psychopaths. The people in all the towns across the world all got their gardens growing. They even planted fruit trees on grass veggies at the front of their homes. In this way, they can swap their homegrown food with others who live nearby them and they will never go hungry. 
the people got inventive and they even grew plants on windowsills and on porches everywhere. Nearly everyone had some kind of food growing somewhere that they lived. The message needs to get out to the people across the world that they need to support all the farmers so they would have food to eat. The people of the world all need to come together to support them in whatever way they can. It was important for everyone to talk about this with their friends and family so they are aware of what is really going on and the true situation that's about to happen. And the food bowls of the world on every continent were being attacked by the government with harp at the evil controllers. This news needs to get out to the world to stop all of this happening. For all the people to come together and to support each other. And the moral of this story is support farmers and market stalls and all small businesses everywhere so that all the people continue to have food. And if you like this story, you can push the like button and you can also um, subscribe to the page. Thank you.